find out what time the Union Square Farmer's Market opened? No, you know, I can't look in the paper, because then I might accidentally see who won Miss America. <laughs> Thank goodness I recorded it. Remember, I don't want anybody to tell me. Right, honey, we get it. For you, it's like the playoffs. Exactly. I'm so glad y'all were finally coming over to see it with me. Oh, we are, too. We're sorry we had so many family illnesses and household problems and family crises. She is not going to forget it. Mm -hmm. We actually got to go over there and watch that dumb pageant. You know, it's not so much about Miss America herself. It's the mother that touches me. I just love the way she looks at her beautiful baby girl walking down that runway and doesn't give a whit that she herself is now on national television sporting overpermed hair, ham hock forearms, and a butt that would cover five folding chairs. <laughs> I can't help it. It's so sweet. It just makes me weep. <laughs> you should see my eighth grade picture. You'd be wailing like those women in the Middle East. Good morning, talent. I'm sorry, I didn't see the rest of you standing over there in Emerald Shadow. <laughs> Listen, Emerald, mm -hmm. I was flipping through GQ magazine this week, and I don't just get it for the articles. <laughs> anyway, I noticed, Emerald, that there weren't any pictures of you in it. Well, hon, I can't be everywhere. Well, yeah, but I said to myself, seriously, why is the delicious Derek Jeter the one modeling that Calvin Klein t-shirt instead of America's most famous chef, Emerald Lagasse? Because everybody wants to see me in my underwear probably already has. And that being said, Emma, I feel that, and I've talked to others at the network who feel the same way, so basically there's a general feeling that you're, um, fat. <laughs> Excuse me, but I think that's incredibly rude. Well, that's okay, honey. I could probably be in a little better shape. Oh, where do you get off talking to him like that? America loves this man, and they don't care if he's in the GQ or hanging out at the DQ but I'm pretty sure we're all wondering about your IQ. <laughs> Look at you with those letters. My point is, wouldn't it be great for women all over America to start saying, gosh, how I would love to eat that meal off Emeril Lagasse's flat stomach? Why would anyone say that? <laughs> I've known the man 15 years. I've never wanted to eat anything off of him. <laughs> On the other hand, and I hate to admit it, Trish might have a point about the weight thing. You think I'm fat? No, no, uh, I'm just saying you're a little, uh, oh, golly, what's the word I'm looking for? Traitor. No, I'm just saying that if you appear on camera, you have a responsibility to look your best, that's all. Exactly. Oh, and by the way, Cass, this is something that you might want to think about, too. I beg your pardon. Well, I mean, you and Melba do appear on camera at some point, almost every show, and when you wear that striped pantsuit with the Aaron Brockovich halter, I'm sorry, it's just not a happy TV moment. <laughs> so what, what are you saying, I'm fat? No. She's just saying you're a little, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Fat? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, Melva, by the way, I know you've put up a brave front, but at your size, life can't be easy. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't it be nice just once not to have to dread the arrival of summer? Not to have to shop in that special catalog to buy a big old honkin' bathing suit? <laughs> Listen, girl. You gonna be buying the special swimming suit after I kick your scrawny butt up between your ears. Well, at least I don't have to worry about falling asleep on the beach and waking to discover that a bucket brigade has been formed to keep me alive until the tide can rise and allow my safe return to the sea. Okay, that's it. Hold my goal. This she Anyway, I knew that I would get this kind of response. I mean, nearly half of all Americans are overweight, and most of them are defensive about it, too. So that's why the Food Channel wants to take the lead in fighting fat by asking our star chefs to start cooking with leaner, healthier foods. Well, that's good, honey. But I'd be careful how you're doing that fat thing, you know? Fat's been good to me. <laughs> and you've been good to fat. <laughs> but see, now we're talking about a slimmer, healthier, happier way of living. So, we're asking all of our shows to participate in a one-month lose weight-a-thon, and the show that loses the most weight will be the winner of a $100,000 prize. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Wait a minute. $100,000. Uh -huh. Uh, we got 23 people on our crew, right? So that would be... Um... $4,347.82 a person. <gasps> I could pay off all my credit cards and start answering my phone in my real voice again. <gasps> I could take my grandma on that Alaskan cruise. Oh, my gosh. I could go on an Alaskan cruise with your grandma. Baby, no. Well, you better start sucking in those stomachs. Oh, and I'll just, um, get these out of the way for you. <laughs> Way in starts tomorrow. Oh, this scale can't be right. I never weighed this weight in my entire life. And I could go to a truck stop and get a better weight than this. <laughs> that was cold. I can't 
can't believe I'm actually standing here naked on my own cooking set. I, I just don't know why I have to lose weight, too. Because you're my agent, and you're on the crew list. I just think it's dumb. You don't see Wolfgang Puck standing around in a little nighty waiting to be weighed in. Well, we're gonna have lots of fun today, yeah. We're gonna take all our clothes off and squeeze lots and lots of vegetables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna boost it up a little. Kapow. Listen, don't think because I'm the runt of the litter I won't be able to run this race. I'm little, Next. but I can... Next! Okay. <laughs> all right, amateur hour's over. Better set that sucker on rockin' good body. <laughs> I was thinking, $4,800, I could pay off my portion. It was $4,300. Yeah, but I get 10% of yours. Well, that's a charity I want to sweat for. Help Jerry pay off his Porsche. Ho, oh, oh, ho, buddy, hey. Little moist toilette. No way of knowing who used this before us. There you go, uh-huh. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was close. Holy smoke. Here, let me get that for you. There you go. I don't get this. Did something bad happen here? <laughs> it's okay, enough, enough, enough. You got too much moist stuff going on. Great club, huh? Been a member six years. Hey, you gonna show me how to work this thing now? Oh, I don't know, I don't work out. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm in the people business. Yeah, I'm already a big guy. If I lifted weights, I would be physically intimidating to people. <laughs> hey, baby, two o'clock. What do you think of that? I think I'm married. <laughs> See the way she's looking at me? I've got something she wants. Hi. You're sitting on my towel. She'll be back for more. I don't know, buddy. She looked pretty satisfied. Do y'all remember Belinda Carlisle from the Go-Go's? She's posing nude now. Yeah, she's 42. She says she wants to send a message to women everywhere that you don't have to be 20 to be sexually viable. She's like the 10th one to send that message. <laughs> like, the rest of us are gonna go, oh, yes, thank you so much. My life seemed so little and sad before I saw you naked and spread-eagled in Playboy. Now I'm filled with hope. Well, I think that's just gonna ruin her credibility as a go-go. <laughs> know is when is one of these women gonna send the message that you don't have to get naked in a men's magazine to be sexually viable, right, Melva? I'm sorry. I'm pedaling towards the light now. <laughs> I can only hear the angels singing. Okay, well, if you're just joining us tonight, we're doing a show on low-calorie cooking. And it's all really started here because everybody around here is on a diet. Okay, so when we come back, let me tell you, we're gonna eat some buckwheat gnocchi, some Savoy cabbage with tofu, black bean cakes, and oh, don't even get me started on what we're gonna do with brown rice. And it's all right here on Emerald. Hey, I was eating that rice cake. Just relax, why are you so testy? Because I'm hungry. I just ate some cinnamon-flavored dental floss. <laughs> and it was good. <laughs> and I want some more. <laughs> Do you have any cinnamon-flavored dental floss? We're back in 40 seconds, Melva. Oh, hey, Tinkerbell, don't get your shorts in a bunch. Listen, why are you all up in my grill? <laughs> it's a heck of a lot harder to stay on a diet when you're used to eating a whole box of Russell Stover's every night just to keep your weight up. I don't think I've ever hated anyone as much as I hate you at this very moment. Hey, what are you ladies talking about over here? Nothing. Nothing. In five, four, three, two. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Okay, so now we're gonna take the boiled chicken and we're gonna put it in with our gnocchi like such. Are you ready for this? We're gonna top it off with this delicious tomato water. Oh, yeah, babe. Here, go make some friends. What, this? Well, we could add a little dry mission figs. You know, figs, they keep everything flowing. You like figs? Here, bam! Hey, I'm not done yet. How about a little low-sodium salt? Bam! You want the old emerald. All right, don't get out of your seats. You're probably wondering right now, what's Emerald gonna do to get himself out of this mess, huh? 
Yeah. I'm going to show you. Hello, Ray's Pizza? This is Emerald. Hey, buddy, I need to order about 40 of those Super Deluxe, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, put everything on it. Empty the refrigerator out. Yeah, I'm Ray. Hurry. <laughs> Hey, thanks for leaving me out there alone with that crazed mob. Baby, you weren't alone. You had 40 pizzas and we couldn't go anywhere near them. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but a guy in the audience pulled me aside and said, tell Emeril if he cooks with tofu again, we're going to get him. <laughs> well, I just looked him right in the eye and said, well, I'd just like to see you try. That wasn't a very good answer, honey. That answer needs some work. Where you been, buddy? Oh, unfortunately, I committed myself to a cocktail party for those Barbie twins. You know, they wrote that book on the pain of bulimia. And they have really huge breasts. And so they're being honored. That's great. You know, we don't want to get in the way of one of your charity deals. Listen, I just wanted to come by and show you. Oh, hello, all you other passengers riding on the Emerald Gravy train. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Slim Shady. Aren't you the one? Oh, well. I haven't lost that much. Oh, yes, you have, mister. What about me? Don't suck your stomach in so hard, Jerry. You're going to pop your eyes right out of your head. I am certainly aware of how difficult dieting can be. Personally, I thought the tomato water sauce was superb. I just think we learned that America's not quite ready for it yet. So, uh, Emma, why don't we just stick to your time-honored recipes with an eye towards, say, using yogurt where whipped cream is called for. Listen, whipped cream is always called for. I mean, there's nobody in their right mind gonna call for yogurt if there's whipped cream running around anywhere near their house. Yeah, that's right. And by the way, does anyone care that we've missed 63 meals now? It's obvious that you people are not dieting smartly, because if you were, then you wouldn't be so crabby. I mean, the whole point of this campaign is that you can eat healthy and still be happy. Oh, I'm sick and tired of hearing that. That is a lie. That's a lie that must be stopped whenever and wherever we hear it. For as long as there's just one person that is willing to stand up and say that civilization cannot survive without smothered pork chops, homemade biscuits, rum raisin ice cream, and chocolate pie, then that lie shall not live. And I'm gonna be that person. <laughs> Okay, well, I just came by to give you all the heads up on how all the other shows are doing as of the two-week weigh-in. Now, it looks like the crew at Kicking It and Licking It have been eliminated for actually gaining weight. <laughs> but your closest competitors, Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Ellen, have lost 21 more pounds than the Emerald oh. Show. Oh, that oh. bunch of balsamic vinegar swilling yuppies. We can whip that. Yeah. Well, that's funny, because they called you guys a bunch of fat, degenerate pork rinds. <laughs> well, it looks like we're in for some vigorous competition. <laughs> Happy dieting. Oh, and by the way, I would use the back exit. Apparently, some nasty mob is formed out front. <laughs> There's a big old ham under there, isn't it? I cannot believe you were lying there on that table sniffing pork. I wanted to sit up and do it, but I was too weak. <laughs> Does it have that brown pineapple sugar glaze on it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the cherries? I don't know, it's kind of dark in here. Move over. Keep the foil on it, because we need it to be warm for the show. <laughs> Tell me how to treat pork. Oh. That's my territory. Oh, my oh, I loved oh. pork before pork was cool. Oh, don't you like pork? Oh, oh. Oh. Jesus, oh. Reese, what are y'all doing now? Have you just lost all sense of propriety? Oh, I need to get this ham out to the cooking set. Hey! Don't you come near our ham. What did I just say? Hey! I'm safe transportation to this ham is my job, and I intend to get it done, even if you're holding on while I kick both your butts all the way to the stage. Thank you. Okay, so we have our slices of pork tenderloin marinating here, and you want to make sure that you trim all of the fat off of that. That's the key. All right. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? Fine. How do you like your meat? Medium. Medium, okay. Hmm. Looks a little well done. Hmm. <laughs> well done. Mm. We'll try it from this end. It's a little bigger end over here. We'll try it from this end here. Hmm. 
Looks like it's well done again. <laughs> Gee, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I don't know either. You know, a great wine to serve with this cut of meat is a nice Pinot Noir. Now, that's what we call it in America. <laughs> in France, it's red burgundy. And I like a little chill on mine. What the heck's he doing behind there? And when we come back, we're gonna have to walk this beauty, so stick around. <laughs> I'm sad to say you have icing on your nose. Well, I had a little snack, okay? I mean, somebody ran off with my trail mix. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was me. I'll do better. Well, we all have to do better. Dave on first camera wants to get a big screen TV for his eight foster kids. Okay, okay. I had a little piece of Melba toast for breakfast. <laughs> I'm doing my pot here. Eight foster kids? Oh, everybody's going on diuretic. Man, it's like a sauna in these wetsuits. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. Anyway, you should love it. It's all moist and stuff. What are you doing? Well, the handlebars are sticky. <laughs> he drives me nuts. You know what we look like, don't you? bunch of out-of-work sperm. <laughs> we're the ones who couldn't hit the target, so now we're being retrained. I assure you, if I were a sperm, I'd be captain of the first wave Cracker Jack A-team. Oh, uh, yeah, what would your job be? I'd be the guy yelling, go back, go back. He's drunk. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> what was that? B.D. drinking malt liquor, B.D. It's a natural diuretic, okay? Plus, I like the buzz. <laughs> How you doing over there, Mel? The light is much brighter now. <laughs> There's ice cream everywhere. I don't care if we stay in here all night. We're not gonna sweat enough to beat Parsley Sage, Rosemary Clooney, and whatever that other person's name is. You may be right, buddy. There may be only one way left for us all to lose weight by tomorrow. Hey, don't be asking me for any donations. If I can't sweat it off, it's not coming off. Attention, everyone. Since Emerald Lagasse and Jerry McKenney have failed to appear, we have decided to use their last recorded weights. Therefore, the weight of this remaining crew member will now stand as the final entry to the Emerald Show total. Step forward. Oh, come on, honey, you can do it. You can do it. Just be skinny. Be the stick. Be the 109 pounds and 15 ounces. Partially saved twins by 12 ounces. Oh, you're Emerald and Jerry. Oh, I'm going to do it. Just stop. Stop. I don't care what you do. Just stop. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not done yet. All right, people, please. What, what, what do you mean? Well, um... I don't really like admitting this, but uh, my hair's a little thin back here. I'd like to remove my kitty. She's going to remove her kitty. <laughs> At least that's what I call it. That's hardly in the spirit of the contest. Well, I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Freshly Sage wins by eight oh. yeah! Normally, I wouldn't do this in front of everyone, but since it's for my team, I'd like to remove two teeth. I fell off my bike in college. She's going to remove two teeth. I hope she's not removing anything else, because I'm not watching after this. No, get away. I am already holding your kitty. Parsley Sage wins my four Shot, babe. Parsley Sage wins by two ounces. I am the king. <laughs> okay. Come on, Am. Come on, Am. Read it and weep, honey. Look, Ma. No hair, no hands. Emerald wins. <laughs> Look 
are you doing over there? Uh, we are full, but we must go on. These are the spoils of victory. <laughs> I still can't believe we won. Did you see the look on Trisha's face? Yeah. She threw my kitty in the trash. <laughs> now I have to wash the whole damn thing in wool eye. Plus, somebody from kicking it and licking it still has my teeth. I can't get over this. This is totally freaking me out. I look cool, huh? No, you look like a sperm out of uniform. No, I don't. I look fly. I'm thinking about getting an earring now. Maybe changing my middle name. To what? I don't know, something like uh, Puffy or Doggy. <laughs> yeah, well, duty's available. You put howdy in front of it, you good to go. Okay, I mean, who would have thought you both shaving your domes would have made it possible for my grandmother to picnic on a glacier? Yeah. Life can be a riddle. Hey, there's some moist toilets there if anybody wants one. You know, I gotta tell you guys, though, it wasn't just Jerry and me. Our little BD kicked it up a notch and put us over the top. BD, BD, Oh, okay, 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 okay. Y'all gonna have to be quiet now. This is the talent portion of the pageant. Thank y'all so much for watching this with me. Are you kidding, honey? You earned it. And I wouldn't trade any of you in for one of those beauty queens. Oh, yeah. No, I mean it. You don't have to be no certain weight. You're each one beautiful, just the way you are. That is so nice. Why are you looking at me? You're even sweeter than Miss America's fat ass mother. <laughs> What do we cook? Fabulous it? rice. Where we got, got some steamed rice there that's called dirty rice. Dirty rice. Dirty rice. Poaching deer. Deer. You gotta have a, you gotta have special license poaching deer. We're poaching deer in beer. Got German beer. That's right. Oh. It's very good. Very good. They call that sour deer.